Hello, this is Sharif Abu Zaid again, and in this new video, I want to show you how you can use the shortcut plugin to sell your online courses created with Tutor LMS. So, as you can see, I have already created a new course. This is a baking course, and this course is marked as free. And if someone wants to just study this course, they can just click enroll now to log in and start studying this course, or you can they can just register now to create a new account and start um, studying this course. What I want to do during this video is to mark this course as a paid course. Now let me show you how you can do this inside your WordPress dashboard. So let me open my dashboard. This is my WordPress dashboard. As you can see, I have already installed TutorLMS and also the shortcut plugin. And inside the TutorLMS list, I have this online course. This is only uh, the only course that I have created in this demo website. And the price is free, so anyone can just you know enroll in this course. And inside the course page itself, you'll find that I have added a short description, plus a featured image, and you know some just demo lessons. And under the course settings, I have made sure that this course is not marked as public because if you mark any of your um, online courses created with Tutor LMS as public. No need for someone to register in your uh, website to study the course. They can just simply, you know, start studying the course without even um, registering inside your WordPress uh, website. Now, let me show you how you can, you know, connect Shortcut plugin with Tutor LMS. So inside my Shortcut, I, of course, I have just went and installed and activated this uh, Shortcut plugin and connected is, uh, it with my shortcut account. This is a free shortcut account. So now all I have to do is to create a new product and integrate this shortcut product with Tutor LMS. And of course you can simply create a new product with shortcut by going to products and then click add new. And let's give this product a name. Let's click create. Now what I want to do is to add a short description for the course. So let me just copy and paste this part. And under the images, I just click here. And you know, I have went and already added some images. So I just click and choose this image. And for the price, I want to add a one-time price of like 197. And I will call this one-time fee. And we'll just click create price. Now, the most important part is to add an integration with TutorLMS. So we just click here, add new integration. And I will select TutorLMS courses. And I will just choose my course here and click add integration. And then I will click save product. Now this product has been created and also integrated with Tutor LMS. So if someone buys this product, they will have access to my Tutor LMS course. Now let's go back to the course page itself and click refresh and see how does this process will go. So I just go to my, the same page again, I just click refresh. And as you can see, this course is not marked as a free course anymore. And now the enroll now button has changed it into purchase for 197 US dollars. So now if someone wants to enroll in this course, they need to click purchase and they will be redirected into this checkout form, which also we need to customize because this form is missing the password field, which will enable my students to create an account for them inside my website to have access to their online course once a day purchase this um, course or product. And also I, do, I want to remove this address uh, field because I don't need it for this scenario. Let me show you how you can do this. You simply go to your pages and then click all pages. And here you want to look for the page that is marked as the store checkout page. And this is the page and I just click edit and open in a new tab. And this is the format of the checkout page. If I want to remove the address, I just click here. I just click the three dots and click remove shipping address. If I want to add a password field, I would, again, I will just click here and click insert uh, maybe uh, after and look for the password field. I will just add it here. And let's, you know, let's remove this to be at the top. And now someone wants to buy this course, they will add their name, email, and see the password. And let's click update and let's click save. And let's go to our checkout page again and let's click refresh. And now, as you can see, the address field has been removed and also a password field has been added to this checkout form. So this is how easy you can connect Shortcut or how you can use Shortcut plugin to sell access to your online courses created with Tutor LMS. If you find this video helpful, please give me a like and also please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I create similar videos every single week. Now, thank you so much and see you in the next video. Bye for now.